what is going on everybody today we are going to take out this 2020 harley davidson fat bob on a test ride demo ride whatever you want to call it first ride and this bike looks good and it has had some performance upgrades as well let's talk about it This is your first time by our channel. We are Speedway Harley Davidson. Make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell notification hit so that way you can stay up to date whenever we drop a video. So let's go over the basic specs of this 2020 Fat Bob. This bike weighs 678 pounds, comes with a 3.6 gallon tank. You're gonna be getting 118 foot pounds of torque in its stock configuration, which this one is not in its stock configuration. And this cruiser is gonna get a lean angle and this cruiser is going to get a lean angle to the left of 32, a lean angle to the right of 31. So let's take a look at some of the mods that have been done to this bike. You got your Memphis shades fairing up front. You've also got the hand guards added on to protect you on those cold days, protect that wind, rocks, whatever's flying at your hands and knuckles. You got your engine guard right there. It's rocking a two in the one, two brothers exhaust. And it's got the Screaming Eagle Stage 2 performance upgrade. Looks like we got some aftermarket grips. You also got bars and risers done. You got a backrest you got a luggage rack and you've got an overall badass bike so let's get this thing on the road okay so we just did step one of getting out here for a ride <laughs> we had to put some fuel in here real quick so let's see how this baby rides all right we're gonna do a semi cold start here that two in the one exhaust sounds insane so this bike only has 10,096 miles at its current state before I take it on a test ride. Woo! That exhaust sounds crazy. This pre-owned Fat Bob, man, it sounds insane. It's only got just over 10,000 miles on it and it rides tremendously well starting off here like I, I feel like the suspension is solid and I'm gonna tell y'all this stage two that's on here the performance the performance of this stage two is insane like I hit the throttle kind of hard pulling off and that back tire spent just a little bit because it's definitely got some power I'm pretty sure they tuned it to this two-in-the-one exhaust, too. I mean, just look at this. Look at this right here. Hold on. We're in fourth gear, and you hit it, and it goes. It goes. The bike is solid. And one of the great things about the Fat Bob is that lean angle. If you're an aggressive rider or someone who likes to go up and hit the twisties, and likes to have fun on your motorcycle but still want that comfortable seating position but you want an extremely sporty looking and sporty feeling ride this is the perfect option for you this is one of those bikes that does stand out in the harley davidson lineup it's the only motorcycle well besides the pan america with that rectangular front headlight and it gives it a totally different look. And I feel like the Memphis Shades fairing that's on here completes that look and makes it look solid. I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like Harley should come out with a version of this bike with this fairing already on it. Right here, we're gonna turn the corner and we're gonna do a quick pull, see what type of performance we get, which I already know it's insane. Not gonna do it too hard because this bike will take off and the ground is cold. So it's kind of slippery, but. As you can see, this bike will move and it sounds insane. No matter what gear you're in, when you twist the throttle, you're going to get that power, you're going to get that performance. And that's what I love about this motorcycle and that it's already had that stage two upgrade. That's a great thing about finding some of these pre-owned jewels, as I call them, these pre-owned motorcycles with, I call 10,000 miles, fairly low for Harley and the fact that it has 
the stage two already done to it the aftermarket exhaust the handlebars have been done the memphis shades fairing you got the wind deflectors for your hands on here or the hand guards added on already which deflect quite a bit of wind keeps my hands from getting cold on a day like today and it actually has i don't know if you can see that there it has the shorty levers on here and i love those shorty levers because all you have to do is use two fingers to pull them in when you're ever whenever you want to um, hit your brake or pull in your clutch you just need those you just need those two fingers and you can keep the rest of your hands on the grips it does have aftermarket grips which seem like they're they feel pretty good they have a little bit of wear on them but they're definitely doable and the seating position for myself being six feet tall at around uh 220 ish pounds is extremely comfortable it's a comfortable seating position it's upright you know i don't feel like i feel any fatigue whatsoever sitting in this position for extended periods of time the great thing about this bike is it's been set up already with everything you would ever want to put on your motorcycle you got your luggage rack in the back if you plan on doing some longer rides you just throw a, a, a knapsack or what's it called not a knapsack a roll pack back there you throw that on there you're able to do that you also got your backrest back there for your passenger so they can sit back there without having to worry about flying off the seat when you do stuff like this <laughs> when you hit that throttle they don't have to worry about being left on the ground back there somewhere so you got those those add-ons that make this an amazing value you can tell the bike has been well maintained the throttle response is really good on this motorcycle the suspension feels solid it feels nice and firm that's what you want on a sportier motorcycle you know it's still absorbing all of those imperfections in the road but it's not too bouncy or anything like that so it's, a, it's a nice firm suspension on the motorcycle and you got what's most important to me <laughs> the sound people are definitely gonna hear you and know you're in the vicinity with this motorcycle yeah that bike sounds really good so comment down below have you ridden a fat bob before um and if so what were your thoughts on the fat bob i myself love the fat bob i especially love it when i see it with the memphis shades fairing i like it with this fairing a lot more than i like it as um, a naked motorcycle because you get that that wind protection there and again this is a quick release fairing so if you want that other look you just pop the fairing off and you're good to go and in case you weren't aware right now we are having like right now as you are watching this video so you may be watching this in the future and it may not be going on but right now as this video's upload date we are having our nntn event which means no need to negotiate and that's on all of our pre-owned units which this is a pre-owned unit so this is a part of that event so definitely swing by the dealership if you're interested in this bike and check it out find out how much it is take it on a demo ride yeah it's cold out but you know bundle up put yourself on a jacket uh, put on some gloves you got these to protect your hands like i'm bundled up pretty pretty nicely so i'm not really feeling too much of the cold all right so while we sit here because sometimes this light doesn't work for me let's go through what you get on your display here you got an analog tachometer as you can see here, red lines around 5,500 RPMs. You got a digital display, which will show you your speedo, how many miles are on the bike. You're also gonna get trip A, trip B. You got your remaining miles to this tank of fuel. You also got a clock here, and you can see your RPMs digitally right here. See, so check that out. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but you can see the digital tachometer if you'd like to and while riding you do get a gear indicator over to the side which shows you what gear you're in all right so let's see how she maneuvers at slow speeds that's one thing that intimidates some people about these motorcycles they're like well they're too heavy well once you're moving on this bike you, you don't really feel any of the weight. I don't know what this is. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be on it, but let's, let's see what we got here. There we go, slow speed maneuvering. Perfectly fine. We're swerving. 
Someone knocked that cone down. Like, these bikes are not very hard to maneuver, ride, or enjoy. It's a pleasure actually riding this motorcycle. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna take a couple photos of the bike, but make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You're liking the content and you're sharing it. Share it with others because someone may be looking for this specific bike that I'm on here today and you'll help them out quite a bit. We'll take one more look at the bike once I park it over here. There we go. It's a good looking machine, good looking machine. Take a look at that Memphis Shades fairing hand guards it's got the led blinkers turn signals running lights led headlight you know you got your 114 with the stage two in it this is an amazing machine and you have the option of adjusting your preload very easily right there without having to use a tool it's basically a toolless adjustment for your preload you just turn that based on your passenger's weight and you're good to go but Stop on in, check this baby out, as well as the rest of our pre-owned inventory for NNTN. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel, all that good stuff. But we will see you in the next one.